Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about 4-H re-enrollment. So for this you're going to go on to 4-H online. You can either follow along with this video or on our website we have a step-by-step -step instruction guide that is a Word document. Once you get to 4-H online, you are going to sign in here, North Dakota 4-H Youth, and you are the role as a family. So once you get your password and your email in there, you're going to hit continue. You're going to come up to this home screen and you're going to go continue to family. Now once you find this, you're going to go and look and here is all of your 4-H members from your family. I have Johnny, Judy, and Sarah. If I look, Judy is inactive, so I am going to edit her because that means I need to re-enroll her. So I'm going to go through all of this information, see if it looks correct. It does, so I'm going to hit enroll for 2019-2020. Now I have to re-go through it. Continue. Parent guardian signature. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yes. I give permission for the media statement. I give medical treatment. And I understand. You're going to hit continue. You're going to add your club. Our club's ready here because you are re enrolling. And here you can hit Submit Enrollment. If you want to add projects, you can hit the Continue button into which you would add your projects here. So let's say I'm going to select a project for her. Judy is still a clover bud. So I'm just going to do Add Project. And it adds it down here to the bottom. So now I can submit my enrollment because I am done and I do not have any groups to enroll. So we're going to go with submit enrollment. Now it says she is pending and once the office approves your renewal, if you log on here, it'll say active. So that means that everything looks good here for now because everyone is active or pending. If you have any questions on re-enrollment, you can give us a call at the office, 221-6865. Thank you so much. Have a great day.